Hey beautiful people of the Most High God. So I want to talk about in Ecclesiastes chapter 3. You know how it talks about to everything there is a season. A time to every purpose under heaven. A time to be born, a time to die. So everything is a learning experience. I spoke about learning experiences, but let me see how, let me explain how it pertains to this chapter, what God does to his creation. And then we're going to talk about the rich and the poor, how this also learning experiences with the rich and the poor. And it and how God does this. Okay? So every to everything there's a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. A time to be born a time to die and a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. So this is a learning experience as well. A time to plant, you learn. A time to pluck up, a time you learn when things are plucked up, that's planted. A time to die, there's a time to be born and a time to die. And there's a time when people die, you learn when people die as well. You learn how to get through it. A time to kill, a time to heal. There's also a time when you do go through a healing. This is a learning experience. But pe some people do not want to take the time to heal to grow. And in every learning experience that you go through with God, it's supposed to make you stronger. It's supposed to make you wiser. It's to make you have more understanding. So you learn in a time to plant a time being plucked up, a time to break down. You learned when you were broken down and a time to be built it up. Life is a, ne a learning experience. Experience is the best teacher. All right. I spoke about that as well. But look how it pertains to a time to weep. That's a learning experience. A time to laugh, a time to mourn, a time to dance, a time to cast away stones a time to gather stones together. A lot of people like to hoard things. And they should like throw them away. There's times when you're supposed to throw away some clothes. Throw away some shoes. Get rid of the old. Come in with the new. Because you've been certain places. They carry certain energies and certain things. You're with certain people you shouldn't have been with. You're supposed to cast away some things people have given you. Cast away some clothes. Cast away some shoes. Cast away things from your house. Out with the old. In with the new. There's time to cast away stones. And there's a time to gather in stones. Buy new things. There's a time to embrace. There's a time to refrain from embracing. These are all learning experiences. But a time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. Keep things and cast away things. So these are all learning experience. And then I want to keep going. A time to rent, a time to sow, a time to keep silent, a time to speak. A time of love, a time of hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. What profit has he that works in that wherein he labors. So he's saying, what profit does people have when they learn what they labor? Because God has them going through all these experiences, all these lessons. Weep to a time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn. These are all learning experiences. And then he says, I have seen the travel which God has given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. These are lessons to be exercised in it. For what? For you to come out to have more wisdom, to have more knowledge, to have more understanding. You, you've been taught. These, these are the things you've been taught in. A time to get, a time to lose, a time to keep, a time to cast away, a time to speak, a time to keep silent. You've been exercised in these things to learn. And this is what God has made for us to do. He has made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that God has made from the beginning to the end. I know that there is no good in them, but for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life. So what must you be doing? Doing good in your life. But let's go to the rich and the poor, because this is what you have to understand. 1 Samuel 2 and 7, the Lord makes poor and makes rich rich he brings low and lifts up 